good morning everyone it has just gone six o'clock and Ali and I are up my hair is a little bit twirly whirly oh my goodness me I'm dressed in my usual uniform of a brushed cotton shirt denim jeans Holland Cooper gilet I've got my riding boots on um, I am taking my Holland Cooper coat as well just because I want to be warm so today we're heading to Coworth Park and we're going to basically be spending the entire day there. Um, Ali's playing golf. I'm going to be with Ali's stepmom, and we're just going to basically get to explore. I've never been to Coworth Park before. It's for Ali's dad's birthday. So then we're going to be spending the evening um, at dinner and just experiencing another side of Coworth Park, basically. I have had to obviously pack a bag so that I can change because I won't be going for birthday dinner like this. And I had a delivery yesterday from Emmy London and I, oh, I have wanted a pair of these shoes for such a long time, but they've always been sold out in my size. There was this pair of black watch uh, pointed ballet flats uh, at Christmas time and completely sold out in my size. And they offered to send me a pair and I went onto their website and can anyone say tan flats? I can say tan flats. Um, so I thought I would quickly unbox them with you and uh, throw them in my bag or place them gently because obviously we're being respectful, but take them with me. I mean, look at this box. I love it. And I love that it's a British brand. So this is the Lulu in saddle. And I just realised I've just put my boots on. Oh my gosh, the tissue paper. I've just put my boots on and I don't know if I can try these on for size. What an idiot, Lydia. Oh, the colour is, oh my gosh, it's perfect. Oh, oh my gosh. So these are suede. Oh, I think I'm going to have to order another pair because I can't go through this again where I've got shoes that look so scruffy. <laughs> Wait, I need to try these on. Otherwise, it's just too good to be true. How am I going to get these off without a boot pull? Oh, oh my gosh. It's the only thing about these boots is that difficult to get off. I have like boot pulls everywhere. Oh, well done Lydia, well done. Okay, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Please fit, please fit, please fit, please fit, please fit, please fit, please fit. Oh my gosh, and they're comfy too. You can't even see. <laughs> wow, you just see my boots sticking up. These are so comfortable. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So now I can ruin this pair. No, I'm joking. Now I'm going to have to get a pair of these for everyday wear and a pair for best because honestly, I can't end up that scruffy again. I look like a little, what's it called? Pixie because my toes went up at the end. Okay, okay, they're coming with me. I'll show you them with my outfit later on, but I am so happy. Goodness me. Babe, I got shoes. Also, all their packaging is uh, sustainable, which looks good. I'm going to put them in my little dust bag. Oh my gosh, I'm actually going to order other colours of these as well. Because they do these in literally every colour. That has made my morning. Okay, shoes in there. Socks on. Got to go find my jewellery. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Come here, Barky Boo. Barky Boo, come with us. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my goodness me. My morning cuddles. Big yawn. Mm, you have morning breath. Delicious. So, Mommy and Daddy are going to Coa Park with Grandma and Grandpa. No licking. No licking. <laughs> and unfortunately, Porty, you can't come. Although I do think that puppies would be welcome. Because, oh. It's just staring at me. Don't do it. <laughs> my little sausage boy. Look at his little bottom. Just resting, resting in my arms. You smell like morning cheese. Morning cheese. 
Right. Off we go. Dumpalini. <laughs> and um, I'll get my stuff out. We've just arrived at the golf club where Ali is. Sunningdale. Sunningdale. Play golf the old club. course. Play the old Very course. Excited. Very important. Very important. <laughs> Everyone just. They all look so cute in their little polo shirts. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't hey, laugh. You're right. You oh my gosh, it's. <laughs> Sorry, I probably wasn't very clear there then because we were um, we were just pulling up, but basically everyone just looks so smart with their little buggies, and I just love that Ali's got this little hobby that he loves and that he doesn't shut up about. Um, but yeah, so we've come to Sunningdale first. I'm dropping him off here, and then I am driving to Coworth Park now. Love you. Um, and um, when I was sat here, one of the boys from Seaster and Hicks, who is also here with uh, Ali and his dad to play, uh, was was like walking up and I didn't realise he was going to be here. And Ali tells me nothing because he's actually playing with them, which was obviously hilarious. Uh, I feel like I'm having a bad hair day as well. I've got weird like kinks and things like that. I feel like this is a bit weird and it looks a bit mushroomy. I kind of need it to rain on my hair. But anyway, I'm going to put it into my sat nav and head to Coworth Park to meet B. Wow, first time at Coworth Park. Very, very impressed. Looking lovely. Oh, little mallard ducks. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yes, quack, 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 quack. You have to try them. You have to try them because they are so, like, so fluffy. Oh, I think we're gonna get a nice day. Some sunshine. I mean, that's quite some view from their veg garden, though, isn't it? Lemon. Verbena. Oh, I've just got a lemon verbena plant. Rose. Yeah. You hope. <laughs> ah. Well, uh, you, you, if that's raspberries, yes, because I think it's got to go in a line like that. What's this? Sweet. Is silly? We've just come down because we are walking past a woodland and we've looked in and we've seen these huge yellow flowers that almost, they, they kind of looked like leaves, but then they also, yeah, they, they, we were like, they kind of look like lilies as well. And they are absolutely massive. I have never seen anything growing wild like this before in my life. They are absolutely huge. Let me zoom in a little bit. Closer. Look at the size of them. Oh my goodness. And there are hundreds. This is just where we've been able to get close enough. Fascinating. Heavily scented. Oh, I can smell it from here. Yeah, Well, I have been a terrible blogger, not talking to camera all day. I have now changed into a dress that I bought the other day. I'm gonna talk you through this dress later. We're just about to head for dinner and I'm wearing my new Emmy London shoes. They are so comfortable. I'm gonna try and find a way when I'm on the way home to buy a second pair of these before they sell out because so comfortable, the perfect shade. I'm so happy, um, but we're heading over to the barn. Is it the barn? Yeah, the barn for dinner at Coworth Park, and the menu looks exceptional. The service here is incredible, and yes, I'm talking to you from the toilets again because it's just so quiet here that I'm like, I don't feel comfortable vlogging when I've not been invited here to vlog when it's this quiet. So yes, anyway, outfit of the day. 
or evening. I'm gonna head upstairs. They're like a beach thing. So they're just about to go white, aren't they? Mm -hmm. they they're done. Mm -hmm. They're similar to yours. Blue. Which one? Blue. Wow. This is the perfect place to poodle. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. No rest for the wicked. I have just got off of a conference call for a very exciting trip I have coming up in the future. I just ran up the stairs. Um, I'm also dressed very smartly because I am off to London today. Well, today, no, not today, this evening. In about half an hour, I need to get all of my sparkles on because I'm heading for a dinner at the Bulgari Hotel with the wedding edition and 111 skincare. Um, I've been uh, trying to get to <laughs> one of the wedding editions dinners for such a long time and I've never been able to make it. So this is the first time where the stars have aligned and I'm actually able to go. I'm tired because we had too much jelly and ice cream yesterday for Ali's dad's birthday down at Coworth Park. I probably vlogged really badly because I was with um, Ali's stepmom and we were just chatting away for the whole day, enjoying ourselves at Coworth Park. It was so lovely to experience it as well. Such a lovely place. Um, I also wore this dress to dinner and I felt like it didn't get enough of a bit of a show. So I'm gonna wear it this evening as well. My hair probably needed a wash. So um, I've gone for a different hairstyle today. I actually have to do some shopping on the way down to London as well because I've just had a bit more clarity on my dress code for my next trip. And I'm very excited but I'm gonna have to do some shopping. <laughs> so anyway, I, I've just um, received a lovely little gift box from 111 Skin, and I thought I'd open it with you before we went. Just to pre-warn you, I am hoping to vlog when I'm down there, but as you know, I try to first, first and foremost, I try to be really polite and not just shove my camera in people's faces when I get to events. Second of all, one thing I know about myself is that I get overwhelmed. So I don't confuse myself with doing too much stuff. And then I also um, want people to have my undivided attention and not worrying about creating content. With all that in mind, I will do my best. Um, to show you anything from there, but sometimes there's lots of people there, there's lots of people that I maybe haven't seen for a while, and it is always really like such a lovely experience. I just kind of I get overexcited and um, enjoy myself seeing people and that kind of thing. So, anyway, in my box from 111 Skin, it says, Dear Lydia, we look forward to welcoming you at the wedding edition and Bulgari and 111 skin event next week. We hope you enjoy sampling the enclosed. Oh my gosh, so much. Ooh, wow. We have, now I have used these cryo de-puffing eye masks before, I believe. I've also got the celestial eye masks and the rose gold. I love an eye mask and trust me, I'm going to need these over the coming weeks. In fact, when you're watching this, I will have left the country twice in that time and you probably won't even know about it. So then this one, so this is their firming con concentrate to focus on tightening, toning and firming, uh, which comes in lovely little vials. I always find that very, very uh, appealing when things come in vials like this. It looks very, very official. Um, and also I just feel like you know that you're getting really potent products because I am a nightmare for leaving the lid off of things. Uh, I also have the Rose Quartz Exfoliating Mask, which looks lovely. We have, oh, Brightening Essence. Now, is this a spritz essence or is this a dab essence? I think it's a dab e essence. Yes. So you can either pop, probably pop that on a, onto your hands. Yeah, so you pop it in your hands. It's usually quite a thick water and you just kind of press it in. We've got some masks. We have some vitamin C. Uh, brightening boosters, lots of lovely bits. So thank you so much to 111 for sending me that and also inviting me this evening. I am super excited. So I'm wearing my Oscar de la Renta dress. Um, I'm also considering this is the wedding edition and I thought that they were perfect for the hint of sparkle that is the theme tonight. I have my wedding shoes on and I think my, my feet have got bigger. 
Um, but these shoes were done using the Manolo Blani customization process that they offer. Well, they did offer, it's currently on hold. So these are actually made from the same Duchess satin of my uh, wedding dress, which is lovely. So I have had them um, restored because they had a lot of marks on them because we partied a lot on my wedding day. And um, yes, I thought these were lovely. I do think I'm gonna wear a mini Kelly bag though, which is gold. But I... I don't know what bag to take. But anyway, I don't know what bag I'm going to take yet, but I've got to get ready to go. Um, I have so much to open up with you, by the way, as well. Um, I have so many deliveries, so I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to do that in this video as well, as long as I show you more of um, this event tonight. Sorry, my head's all over, over the place. I am... Honestly, like, I have a hundred million things in my head at the moment. But I'm looking forward to tomorrow, and I'm probably going to be taking a very, very chilled weekend, um, because I know what's coming. So, yes, I am probably going to be in the garden all day tomorrow, so it means we'll have lots of time together, which is nice. So I'm going to pack my bag and get myself ready to go. Pardon everything everywhere in my room, but I'm still receiving the most lovely birthday gifts. I've also been sent one from Penn Halligans. It says, sorry I'm late to the party. Happy belated birthday, I hope you like these. And um, I've been sent the Penn Halligans Artemisia. I've also been sent Helen, which this is from the Penn Halligans Portraits collection. And this is Heartless Helen. So in the Portraits collection, basically, Everyone has a bit of, every one of them has a bit of a like personality and a story and a legacy. So this is Helen meant everything to herself. A woman clear about her intentions. A woman sometimes of her own invention. Because winning isn't everything until you lose. She has now met Teddy on safari, a man after her own heart. Could he be a man after her? Win or die? Cold as ice, she toyed with fire. That sounds very intriguing. And then I've also been sent the Duke. And I, I know that all of their fragrances are generally unisex, but this is much ado about the Duke. Flamboyancy isn't a sin. Conforming to the expectations of his class, Duke Nelson married the most coveted girl in London, the Duchess Rose, which I have the Duchess Rose. Um, yet the Duke is eccentric and unusual. His whimsical airs set society's ton tongues wagging. Rumours bound that his marriage is yet to be, to be consummated. His perfume is as vibrant as he is, a floral yet masculine woody fragrance. Fancy that. Yes, so that's a lovely birthday present from um, Penn Halligans. I've also been sent some pieces from the most beautiful brand. This is called Patisserie, and they've sent me some of their um, body oils. This is the one that I really, really loved. So this is their Lemon Balm and Daisy body oil. I always feel like body oils can often have quite a sickly fragrance. This is so gorgeous. Like it's got that sweetness of the florals, but that tiny little citrus touch of the lemon balm, and I love lemon balm. I've also got fragrances, which are uh, lemon balm and daisy and orange blossom and bergamot. And then these are the things that I love because I'm not a bath girl, but I always wanted to get in on the, the, the bath bomb thing. Um, these are their shower steamers. And if I'm right, you pop these are over like the drain of the, the shower. And as the hot water fills the shower, the fragrance just explodes. They're kind of like these little slabs. Um, so I have lavender tea tree, tea tree and tangerine essential. Oh no, juniper berry, lavender tea tree and tangerine essential oils. And then we have lavender, rose, geranium and black pepper. So. What a lovely brand, and I just love the branding of it. Look how beautiful that would look on like your dressing table. I just love the branding of this so much, and it is so, so beautiful as well. Anyway, those are just a few bits that arrived. I've got other bits to show you as well. But yeah, let's get going. <laughs> Exciting new innovations with the brand. 
So um, if anyone who knows the brand knows it well at all, the iconic um, serum is what um, Mormon Skin kind of is known for. Rosa! I have been married twice to the same person, and I want to get married third time, what you know they said. Um, I want to take full credit of the brand, but I cannot. I have a co-founder, and it happens to be someone I share the last 20 years with, my husband, Dr. Yanis Alexandridis who is so sad he's not here. He called me from Miami where he's attending a plastic surgery conference. And then to my right is my sometime partner in crime at the wedding edition, <laughs> Yasmin, who's our beauty writer and also uh, an incredible makeup artist. And she'll be sharing some amazing expertise and tips with us tonight um, and giving us all those kind of inside scoops that brought that brought to each of their weddings. And then, most excitingly, we have the right to be in our midst. So, so um, Chantal is uh, newly engaged with a beautiful story that she'll share with us. And um, lucky her, she gets more than one skin to get her ready for her wedding. Yeah. Um, you're already on the way to go, hun, so. It's all yeah. good, so. good morning everyone. The sun is shining very very brightly this morning and I have just freshly washed my hair um, for the weekend. I got back very very late from the evening with the wedding edition, 111 skin and Bulgari and um, I think I ended up getting back at like half twelve which I was supposed to leave at half nine, but I was having too much fun, so I obviously stayed a lot longer. And I met so many incredible people and also reconnected with um, a lot of people as well, which was really, really lovely. And um, yeah, just such a wonderful evening. And the initiative is so lovely. Like, I think that for me, there really wasn't anything like the wedding edition when I was getting married. It's very like modern, but in a like traditional way. And I wish I'd had that as a reference point when I was getting married because they just have the best sort of reviews. They offer the best um, recommendations and things like that. So, yeah, I'm gutted I didn't have it, but they are literally the only people to follow when it comes to like wedding related anything. Um, so I'll link their Instagram in the description box down below, because if you're getting married, if you're a bride to be or maybe you're having a vow renewal or something like that. Or even if you're like a bridesmaid and you want to be as helpful as possible, it's probably really good to sort of like get your head in the zone as far as like surrounding yourself with all of the information around like weddings and stuff like that. Um, yesterday I needed to have a chill day. We've been out so much over the last few days so I just kind of like relaxed. And today is Saturday. Ali is up and playing golf and I am... I want to head to the garden centre because I've had this sort of like idea for what I want to do um, in the beds because like obviously our beds have all been planted up but I still want to like add things to them and add things that I like and what I want to do is do almost like a, a border at the very back of the beds that border the house um, with foxgloves and um, just like a whole line of foxgloves so that you see them under the windows but also they just sort of like soften the back of the house as well so i want to go and pick up some foxglove seedlings and whenever i say anything about a flower people always say watch out for the animals blah, 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 blah. our animals touch wood to date are very good and they they tend to know what to stay away from but also there are things that just grow in general in our back garden which are bad for animals and it's just you can only do so much um, but these ones will be at the back so they won't be able to access them and it will be very very lovely because I'm just seeing my tulips coming up and my goodness it's very exciting but the only thing that I'm having this awful realisation for is that I think that all of my tulips are going to be in bloom when I am away. I think one might bloom before I go. They're fighting over, fighting over their bone. Yeah, I think the realisation is that they are going to be in bloom when I'm away and that is absolutely heartbreaking because obviously I did all of that work to enjoy them. Hopefully they will last. I don't know how long they will last. I'm away for just over a week. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that they'll, I'll be, still be able to enjoy them, but I don't know. Um, anyway, what I've been doing is I've been shopping for loads of stuff online. I've needed a few special outfits for trips that I've got coming up um, and 
Well, first of all, I placed my order for my Emmy London uh, kitten heel version. I've also spoken to them and I think I might go in and make a bespoke pair in this color, but in the leather as well. And I've ordered the most beautiful Jambati Savali dress, which I think may replace um, this Oscar De La, De La Renta dress that I wanted. So um, you will have seen that I wore the beautiful blue o Oscar De La Renta dress. Well, I wanted to tell you that I went, I went down to their store to try on a load of items. There was this one dress that I was interested in. So I tried on the blue and white first. I'll pop little cutaways of me trying them on here. I tried on the blue and white first, wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did, fell in love. Then I tried on this pink one, which I really, really loved, but didn't feel like I could justify it as a piece, especially because it was so colorful. I don't think I'd wear it that much. I think then I tried on a white one, Passiflora one. I really loved that, but it wasn't right on me at all. I tried on a purple one, wasn't right on me at all. Um, I tried on this pinky silky one, wasn't right on me at all. And then I tried on the cotton version of the pinky one and it was absolute love. So I've ordered that one from America. I hopefully will be able to pick it up next week. And then I tried on the dress of dreams, which was this um, fi silk bandeau dress in blue with pink hydrangeas on it. And I have an event that has to be like, I kind of have to wear a touch of pink to it. It's a big part of it. And I really, really wanted to wear that dress, but I got the news today that unfortunately, I tried it on and it was like five, five sizes too big and I've been trying to track down one in my size and it just isn't available, which is so, so, so heartbreaking. And I think that I'm just gonna have to look for a different one because the, the thing that they offered me was that I could buy the size 10 and have it tailored, but like there's no guarantee. And I was like, wow, that is a huge amount of money to spend. And I would have, so this dress was like, the most expensive dress ever in my opinion. And I would then have had to have paid 500 pounds on top to have it tailored and I was like I love it but this is just I feel like I need to just take the sign that this is not the one um, so anyway I went in search of some other dresses this one I found on um, Harrods and it teamed perfectly with accessories that I already have and I bought this beautiful hat from Emily London which is the first hat that I've ever bought from like a proper millinery I think that's right millinery or milliner but I've had my eyes on this hat since last year and I tried to order it last year and it couldn't arrive in time so I've ordered it now. This is just me ordering it because it goes so well with this dress. I want to have it for any occasions that I might go away, um, go like go away for. And then I found another dress from Ely Saab, which I've never purchased from. So I've purchased from a few places recently that I didn't even like realize, well, they're just new places and new brands that I'm discovering. And so Ely Saab, Oscar De La Renta, not that I'm discovering, but just haven't purchased from before. Obviously I've purchased from Jambati Savali before, but I didn't even realize that the jacket that I bought from Cellier was um, current season. And that jacket is like, three grand and I got it. It was on sale for like 900 quid. I then used a code that was on the Soho House app for Cellier and I got it for like 700 pounds. I am like over the moon with that purchase. I didn't even know that it was like that expensive. Someone must have bought it and just didn't want it or something. I have no idea. <sighs> I've got purple diarrhea. So anyway, that's um, where I'm at the moment, but I have some bits to open with you. I'm obviously not gonna be able to open those items with you just yet. But um, what I'm thinking is that I could potentially wear the Jamati Savali dress that I've got, which is green. It's beautiful, like, oh, it's beautiful. Maybe I could go for pink accessories with that dress um, if I find a nice pink hat, maybe. And then it's got enough pink on it for me. Because I don't want to be all pink, because I'm not hugely pink. Anyway, some items that arrived. Well, just this one, really, in fact. I don't even know what's in these Amazon orders, so so I'm just going to open them quickly. Ah, these are my packing cubes for all of my trips because I am going to be back to back traveling in a few weeks time and it is going to be very, very intense. Like when I say that, I mean like I'm flying back and then flying out same day, that kind of thing. And that's not something that I often do, but when I get certain opportunities, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't miss this. Anyway, that's that. So packing cubes and memory cards, all of the important stuff. Then in this box is something very, very exciting. So if you remember, I was umming and ahhing about which suitcases to go for, and it was between two brands. And I ended up making the decision because one of my friends, and she obviously, like, she was just giving me the best advice possible. 
she basically said that this brand, Globetrotter, was only suitable for the trunk of your car. But when I went in with Ali and spoke to them, they informed me that that's not the case at all. And actually they just get better and better and better with age. And I love that. Well, they had an event last week and I was invited, but I sadly couldn't go. Ali went, but they said that I would be able to customize my own carry-on suitcase, which is perfect because it means that I can still use it and use my other one. And also let you know how it like ages if you're perhaps in the market for a suitcase. And, Oh my goodness, I can't believe it, but it has arrived and I'm over the moon, okay. And I actually think that Annie and I will look so cute with our cute little matching <laughs> carry-ons. Oh my god! And the reason why I went for this one, because there are two brands And I obviously, obviously personalised it, so I went with the LMG down the side. I like traditional trunks, and um, this is like having it monogrammed in this way is, you know, I hope that one day someone will find this and it will be battered and bruised and loved, but it will be like linked to me. You know how I've got my trunks in my house and they've all got people's initials on? I kind of want the same thing. So I went for the natural leather. So this will look quite pinky now, but as it, ages this will go a nice tan color so if you think of the um louis vuitton handles on their monogram collection that's very much what you can expect from this leather and um i went for the gold detailing and then i went for the like it's like a burgundy trim which is so beautiful oh my gosh i'm so using this and the reason why I went for this brand, because like I said, there's two brands that, that offer this kind of similar style, but there's only one of them, which is Globetrotter, that does the double wheels, which I am not dragging a, um, a suitcase along. I want it to glide along next to me effortlessly, and so that's why I went for this particular one. Um, I'll link it in the description box. I'm gonna get this unpacked, and hopefully I'll have enough time to quickly pop to the garden centre. It's not for you, Porty, it's not for you. This is the first tulip opening up. It looks a lot more yellow than I imagined. I'm hoping it's gonna go a bit more white because they were supposed to be white, but either way, we know for next year. But yes, at least I get to see one of them looking beautiful. But this is the area where I want to plant the um, foxgloves, so all on the border here, so that they stick up in front of the windows and look really, really lovely. Also, the um, crabapple canopies are in full bloom at the moment and the bees are loving them. Um, so these will obviously fill out next year. So we've got this beautiful blossom and I'm hoping that it'll get a lot more greenery and then so next year, um, they will really, really show how effective they are, but for the moment they look so incredibly beautiful and they create this lovely structure to the terrace area. It is absolutely gorgeous. You can actually hear the buzzing of the Mill and Gordon bees on here. They are loving it. Oh my gosh. We're actually on the cusp of a spring um, honey harvest. So we should actually have way more honey this year because Ali's already put the super on, which means that they are ready to um, basically give us our first load this year. Because obviously last year we had a very limited amount, but this year we should have, oh my gosh, look at them. It's so gorgeous. The window boxes and my buckets are coming along beautifully. This one definitely could have used a few more bulbs in it, but we learn every year. The only sad thing is, is it looks like somebody has accidentally snapped this one, um, which makes me very sad, but they still look lovely. <laughs> and if I thought the other asparagus was large, look at the size of this one. That is bigger than my thumb. It is absolutely massive and we've got so many coming up now. Oh my gosh, there's two there, there's two over there, one here. Oh, the most exciting time of the year. I was thinking that I might be able to get away with wearing a garden dress today, but no such luck. It is still very chilly. Even though it says it's 13 degrees, it doesn't feel like 13 degrees. 
So I've swapped over into my usual attire because I know I'm warm in this, but not too warm. I've got like a shirt and a base layer and yeah, I'm heading to the garden center now. I actually don't have long. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to like whoop, whip around there. <laughs> this car just like lurches forward. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do my best to whip around. I'm gonna look for some plants for the planter in the kitchen where we put the muscari because the muscari are gone now. And I just love it so much that I think I wanna put something else in there. So um, I need, need to find some seeds. I need to find some foxgloves. And basically with foxgloves, what I believe is that you either get a biannual or a perennial. And I'm guessing I'm gonna want the perennial. Um, but we're gonna have a look. Well, I would say that that was a complete waste of my time um, because they didn't have any normal sized um, foxglove plants which are called digitalis, just in case you fancied knowing. And they didn't have any, 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 any in stock, which was annoying. However, I did find a really, really lovely chair which had just been upholstered in the um, antiques shop that's there. So I bought that because I think it'd be really nice in Ali's dressing room. Um, and then I also met a lovely subscriber called Georgia who had just got chickens a couple of weeks ago. So I was walking around the chicken coops as you would have seen and just looking at the chickens because they're now free range. Again, chickens are allowed to free range. I'm not sure that every bird is allowed to, um, but chickens are. It was announced this Tuesday. And so I got to kind of pick her brain about her experience with chickens and things like that, which was really, really helpful. And I got a good understanding of the size of uh, like run for them because obviously they're going to be chicken, like um, free range in our garden, but they will spend a small amount of time in their runs. So yeah, just really great for like picking her brain and then yeah, but no plants at all were purchased, which is actually unheard of for me when it goes to the garden center. But I'm rushing back now and um, gonna go and crack on with the rest of my day. So I've just finished up my call and my job now is to decide. I have the naughtiest sausage dog on my hands today. He was such a nightmare throughout my call. I mean, you are the best nightmare and I'm very grateful to have you as a nightmare. But my goodness, you try some patience sometimes because you just cry for no reason. For no reason. Because you think that there is an Amazon parcel for you. We have created a tiny sausage shaped monster in you, haven't we? Look, he's looking back because he knows that there is a parcel there. It's not even Amazon, Porty. It's not even Amazon. I know. And you were barking all the way through my call making so much noise, it was very hard to concentrate. Um, yeah, so what I have to do now is decide where we're gonna put the chicken coop. I've also, the most exciting part, other than actually getting the coop and the chickens, is naming them. So I think, I've got three names so far. Number one, Jemima, um, because I would love to one day have a puddle duck, but for now, I will have a chicken named Jemima. The other one is Primrose, because I think that's a good name for a chicken. And I was thinking Petunia for the other one, but I think we're gonna get sort of like five, although the lady that I spoke to at the Bell Plantation did advise me to get as many as I possibly could. But I think we're thinking four or five to begin with. So that's three names. If you have any name ideas, let me know in the comments down below because I am very much thinking of inspiration, but definitely Jemima, Primrose and Petunia. I really like those names. Jemima is such a cute name as well. Little Jemima. Jemima Puddle Duck. Little Jemima Puddle Duck. Hmm. Look at that face. You wouldn't believe that he terrorizes the garden. Little hooligan. Now we have to sort of decide the area. Now I think we want to put it under the trees just before the woodland, but it's finding the configuration that we want so that it's beautiful and looks like it's supposed to be there, but also like a bit of a destination. So anyway, I'm gonna go outside, put my coat on, cause it's still quite chilly um, and have a look. Oh, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Why are you pointing down like that? 
should be pointing up where the light is shining. Um, we've already been out of the house today, went to pick up the chair that I found for Ali. It's now in his dressing room. We can see a little sausage head in the background. These boys are in their Sunday best. Can you see? Can't see your Sunday best yet. But we will show you when we get to our destination. We are heading to the Feathered Nest Inn, which we've not been to before. We're going to meet our friends for Sunday lunch together, which I'm so looking forward to. You have no idea. I also whitened my teeth this morning, which I'm very happy about as well. I get really bad like coffee stains on my teeth. They just like attract the stains and it's always good to just give them a little refresh. I'm also... I know obviously we're on a bit of a journey at the moment with makeup and things like that. I'm not wearing a foundation today. I'm just wearing like everything else basically, but no foundation. So a little bit of on the spot concealer, bronzer, that kind of thing. So yes, we're getting there, we're getting there. Good morning everyone. I did have my windows open for the wonderful sound of the birds. Um, unfortunately, someone is now mowing their lawn, which I'm all about. I love the freshly mown lawn, so I am not judging, but if you're, ask if you're wondering why I've got that noise, that is why. I was a terrible vlogger over the weekend, but I was just, you know, I, I think because I know what's coming up and I'm gonna be away so much, I feel like I just kind of checked out this weekend. Um, but I thought I'd up update you. We had the loveliest time with Lauren and her husband, genuinely, like, it's, we were talking about friendship and this is something that Ali and I have often, like, we talk about friendship a lot and how, like, it's actually really hard to find, like, couple friends that, like, you get on with, like, both of them. And actually just finding friends in general, as an older person, it's like, is difficult and it's so bizarre when it just kind of like happens and you realize that like both of you just get on together and like I can sit and chat to Lauren, Ali can sit and chat to her husband and it's just really calm but it's hard and it's rare like even with like Carrie and her partner like we're so fortunate and I know it was in my video when I filmed my birthday but like I, I feel like I, I just feel very lucky that we have that in the like we have those just you know it's not loads of friends it's not, we're not like the most popular people in the world but it's just that to have those few friends that you get on with really really well is such a rare and special thing where there's like mutual respect and like you just you just know that there's nothing to kind of worry about is something that Ali and I really have like we've had to learn a lot about ourselves but also learn a lot about friendship in the process and it's not like a linear thing. There will be times where you're like, oh, this just doesn't work or like, oh, there's just something about this or whatever. But it's so, it is so wonderful when you find your people. Anyway, I can't concentrate with the lawnmower, so I'm gonna close my window. But 
my dress, my Giambattista Bali dress has arrived and I haven't tried it on yet so I'm gonna actually try it on with you. So I found this dress online and I think it's absolutely beautiful but the weirdest thing was is when I was finding this dress I obviously realised that I'd managed to get a current piece of um, Giambattista Bali uh, pre-loved from Cellier and I got it like I think it, well, like completely, it's like less than half price. I got it for 700 pounds and this jacket was like 3,500. And actually, I think with the dress, it works really well because where we're going, um, I have to wear like a bit of pink, but I'm not a pink person. Like I literally have no pink dresses. Um, no pink dresses that would suit either. Like I have a couple, but like not like, I don't have like the options for every event, if that makes sense. And also I wanted to feel like me as well. If I'm not a particularly pink person, I, I kind of want to feel like me. So I think this is working really well. So I'm going to try on my outfit with you. I don't have a hat yet, but once I've tried this on, I'm going to send um, a picture to Emily London, who's the lady that I bought the other hat off, which hasn't arrived yet. I doubt I'm going to show you in this video, but I think we'll have fun trying this on together anyway. But yes, it has been a hectic day and I've just been um, taking like, I think it was about 15, 20 minutes out to watch Louise Pentland on um, Loose Women. And she was so good, like genuinely. You know when someone is like, that's her calling. Like that is her calling. She should be on there. Like she needs to be a regular on there because genuinely she was so good. Like the way she went on and she was like, she was like, I've been manifesting this with my crystals. And like, obviously like well done to the, to the, um, <laughs> <laughs> bookings team but you know the crystals I'm like you're so funny and you're so likeable like genuinely I loved watching it but anyway let's try this outfit on um what else do I have on today nothing I have to, I have a lot of sorting out to do I've had a whole new selection of underwear arrive from um booty I think I told you about booty I found them on Amazon and they're kind of like my comfortable my comfortable wear underwear and I just ordered a whole load because obviously I'm going to be traveling so much that I need to um by the way I'll be back by the time you watch this so I would have already traveled but I I will be coming home and changing over like my underwear so I need to have enough underwear for each trip because I won't have time to wash them it's going to be intense but one of the things I really want to do with this trip in particular is try to prioritize like my mental health throughout traveling um one of the things i have to be conscious of with that is that first of all I, I think we're going to be in a really good place because our first trip is this just amazing amazing like wellness um self-development kind of trip which i'm so so excited about the second one is like pure like work and then the last one is going to be like it's work it is work and it's a, a paid job but it's like it's gonna be um, an experience that I want to experience. So I'm hoping that if I can make it through the first two trips, especially the first one being like really, really healthy, prioritizing sleep, and then obviously the second one, prioritizing sleep, being really, really healthy, I might be able to then have like a glass of wine because the thing with me that I know about alcohol consumption is I've got a really, really healthy relationship with alcohol, I personally think, because I do enjoy, enjoy a really good glass of wine. I know when I can drink, so um, I can't drink if I have work the next day because I am so depleted afterwards that I, I just, I can't function, I can't shoot, it's really not good for me and I'm tired and I get run down. Secondly, if I'm sad, I don't want to drink. It's so weird, like I know that a lot of people turn to alcohol when they're in like a really bad place. I don't. It's so weird. I like, I drink when I'm like happy and like in a good mood. It's really weird. Yeah, I think that I'm very, very good at knowing where and when I can do it. And I don't think that I'll be able to drink the first two trips. And I'm hoping that maybe like the last day or something that we're on the last trip, I'll be able to enjoy myself just a little bit. But we shall see. You can hold me to it. Famous last words. You can be like naughty Lydia. But anyway, right, let's try this on because Okay, I haven't done her up yet, but the thing that I'm most nervous about is the cups for the boobs, because if they gape, oh, it's so pretty, but if they gape, oh no, I'm worried that this isn't going to fit, and I've like set my heart on this dress. Well, I actually think, I actually think it fits. It's not like the tightest of the tight, like there's room for me to like eat, which is always a plus. 
have to see what the girls think. But I think that that's really beautiful. This is a super spenny dress, but one of the things that I have learned over the years in my wardrobe is these are the kinds of dresses that like, I end up wearing so much. Like if you think of my Erdem dresses, my um, Amelia Wickstead pieces, those kinds of things. These are the ones that when I'm like getting super, super dressed up, I wear them a lot. I think I'll also wear this for the wedding because um, I don't know if I talked through, oh no, I did talk you through it. So the pink dress from, well, the blue and pink dress from Oscar de la Renta, I just can't get. It's on Neiman Marcus, but I can't work out the sizing because it says it starts at a US four, but a US four is, is I think it's like an eight or a 10, no, it's a 10 in the UK. And that's just gonna be too big. And so I'm just really confused because it doesn't have any of the smaller sizes, but it would be weird for somewhere to not start at normal size, it's, it's bizarre. But what I was gonna do was get it shipped to my hotel. I just don't know, but anyway, let's style this dress up together. So the jacket that I got is from this collection, so this current collection. So what I was thinking was, I obviously don't know what the weather's gonna be like. It could be sunny, it could be cold, but I think this goes super lovely as like an over the shoulder. This is like such a wonderful option to have a jacket like this to go over the top. And then I'm gonna need to have practical footwear on. I'm thinking these shoes, my little Valentino rock studs, which are literally 100 years old, and also my little pink Lady Dior, because I think the, the canage quilting looks really lovely with this dress. So let me get the shoes on, because I need to show the girls as well, just to get their kind of opinion but I think that this is more me. I'm obviously gonna to have to have a pink hat as well. I don't know if I'm giving away too many clues here, but I'm so excited for this trip. You have no idea. Like everyone I tell is like, <gasps> so I'm really, really, really excited. Right, anyway, let me get shoes on. I need to take a picture for Emily London and then check in with the girls. But let me know what you think in the comments. I just love this dress so much. Such a gorgeous summer dress, but I feel comfortable in it, you know? And that's really good. And it's versatile because I'll be able to wear this for the wedding as well with another hat if I want to, or I'm just thinking out loud now. Ignore me. <laughs> I'm in the process of having a big old sort out in my dressing room. I feel like I always say that to you, but I think that this is going to be a process because of my job. I think I just constantly have to be organizing. And I mean, look at the side of here. I need to like get everything in order, but I've also been styling up. So the, I did tell you the chair is, I think it's just a bit too small for Ali's dressing room. But the thing that I realized was that if it didn't work in his dressing room, it would definitely work in mine because my dressing room's got a lot of height to it. So if you ignore the Holland Cooper wellies that are just situated there, I feel like this is an accurate depiction of my life. Um, that door there is not, not a door. So this seemed like a nice little area to put somewhere for me to sit because I genuinely never have anywhere to sit. But then I've gone a bit AWOL and then styled it up because I want this to look like a dressing room, um, but I don't want it to be over cluttered. But I actually think this has helped with the acoustics just so much in itself. So yeah, I've um, I popped it there with my little Christmas present underneath. I think the trunk looks really nice under there as well. But I'm just now organizing all of like the bits that I generally just hide around here. I've unboxed a load of Hermes stuff for TikTok. I finally got my, what, my uh, purse all jam-packed already. So that's good to go in there. I love the way this looks with the, the gold. So that's all in there as well. You would have obviously seen that I went to the 111 skin um, event and I was obviously sent loads of their stuff, but I used their brightening mask. Actually, they've got the eye masks. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna pack these for my trips just because at least my eyes can have a little bit of extra help. I've also got the Black Diamond Lifting and Firming Treatment Mask. I don't think I'll need that one. But what is the bio scent? I'll take that one with me to um, help with just giving me a bit of a rejuge when I'm traveling, if I need it, if I'm like, Lydia, you are looking gray. These are gonna go with me because that was the one thing that I feel like so many people were saying is like their masks are a cut above the rest. Um, so it was really lovely to get to meet Eva, who actually, she was so sweet. She like, she founded the company with her husband, but she was so complimentary of her husband. And then, but she was like, I did do the masks. Like the masks were me, okay? <laughs> so anyway, I'm taking these with me, um, but I need to get everything put away and zhuzhed. Cause there's stuff everywhere at the moment. Stuff everywhere. Oh, I think I'm 
with my that. Snooty! <laughs> Artemisia from Penhaligons and look how elegant that bottle is. Oh. oh, I have not smelled that. That is beautiful. It's like almost a bit vanilla-y and like sweet, but oh, I'm going to wear that today. See how I get on with it. Well, for the most part, we are back to organised with a little extra styling. My um, suitcase, the new one, is just there poking its head around because I'm obviously going to have to pack that. Um, I've also found a cute little home for my trunk underneath the chair. This little area is so cute. I love it. And um, just finding lots of lovely little bits and pieces for decoration. It's actually starting to feel like a finished room in here. How nuts is that? I've, we've lived here five years. This is one of the first rooms that we sort of kitted out. And I know I've obviously changed the color in here since, it's only once actually I've changed the color in here, but um, it has been a real sort of, I don't know, like learning curve. And obviously I painted it green and it felt very um, green. <laughs> But now that I've got all of these natural textures in here, like these baskets and all of the artwork, it's starting to feel like it looks as it should. Obviously waiting for the blinds and the ottoman um, and the cushion, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, but also I wanted to say that these books are not just for show. In fact, I have a mammoth job this evening uh, that I have to do on my computer. I know there's lots of that at the moment, but these are actually research so I need to take these downstairs with me I promise you these are definitely being read and enjoyed and loved um, they're all out on every surface at the moment like my new one here the flower garden um, and how to know the wildflowers honestly they are on every surface at the moment but they are for research so I'm going to head downstairs get snuggly grab my laptop and actually do a bit of laptop time work I think He's like, I just want whatever's fun. A little pour up. It has been a very, very cold and wet day today. So the fire is fully on in April and I am surrounded by books, my laptop and the coziness of this room at the moment, which is lovely.